OHSU Department of Interventional Radiology, Y90 Radio Embolization Workup and Treatment. Before the procedure, you will be taken back to the angiography room by our staff, which will look similar to an operating room. Once in the room, the team will do a team pause, where you will be asked to confirm your name, date of birth, last time you ate, and any allergies. With the help of your team, you will then be transferred from your bed to the procedure bed. At this time, an area of your upper thigh will be prepped for the procedure. This preparation includes sterilizing the area with sterile soap and covering the other parts of the body with a large blue sterile sheet. To identify the area to be prepped, the doctor will feel your pulse and may also use the ultrasound to confirm the accessibility of your vessels for the procedure. You will be asked to keep your arms by your side and remain still throughout the procedure. Your nurse will check in with you regularly to ensure you are comfortable. The doctor will then numb the area with a small needle. Once numb, a very small incision will be made and a larger needle will be inserted into the appropriate blood vessel in your upper thigh. After accessing the appropriate vessel, your doctor will then introduce wires and thin tubes into these vessels to go to your liver. The x-ray machine will be used at this point to ensure proper placement of the wire. You may feel the bed move or hear the machine move around you. Your doctor is controlling all of the movements. At various points during the procedure, your doctor will inject contrast fluids into your vessels, which makes them easier to see and navigate through on the x-ray machine. Once the catheter has reached the blood vessels supplying the tumor, your doctor will take a special image of your liver to confirm the catheter is in the ideal location. This is your initial workup procedure. Your doctor will deliver special beads through the catheter to help plan for your upcoming treatment procedure. If this is your treatment procedure, the radioactive beads are then delivered through the catheter, again using x-ray to guide every step. This will take a few minutes. Following this, your doctor will remove all instruments from your vessels. Your doctor will then hold pressure on the access site for 10 to 15 minutes to ensure proper clot formation and stop any residual bleeding. In some cases, your doctor may alternatively use a small metal clip to close the artery. Your doctor will let you know which one they will be using. With the help of your team, you will then be transferred back to your original bed and your nurse will then wheel you back to the PCU or the procedural care unit to be monitored before discharge. If this is your first radioembolization, you will likely be staying overnight in the PCU for continued monitoring. We hope that this video has been informative. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask.